okay let's go ahead and build our own co-pilot for cbsc study tutor okay let's go to ai.azure.com and use the azure ai studio to help us there would be absolutely no coding or very very little coding that will be involved to do from a to z of our own copilot so let's go ahead and click on build your own copilot i can use my own current existing project or i can create a new project i'm going to go ahead and create absolutely new project from scratch the name of our project is going to be cbse study tutor i don't know yeah and i'm going to create a new resource cb se study tutor and it's not going to allow me to use the same name uh, okay i'm going to say cbse study study buddy yeah i think that's a good name okay i'm going to create a new resource name location is east us which is okay for me i'm going to create a new open ai okay um for now i'm not going to use ai search but at later point of time i'm going to show you how we going to use uh, ai search as well so for for the time being i'll just go ahead and create my um, own copilot um, without search functionality integrated okay next and i'm just going to go and say create an ai project okay our project is ready uh, but we still cannot use it because we need to create something called as deployments so let's go ahead and do a deployment deployment is nothing but basically saying which model i want to use it in my project so i go ahead and create a deployment there are two of them one thing is called as pay as you go which is not part of the study today we're going to go ahead and create a real time endpoint where we're going to use gpt4 so this is one of the most capable most advanced model from open ai and unless you pay for it you will not get an access to it so in, for our demo for our education purpose for our trial i'm going to use gpt4 from Azure Open AI. Um, I have few models available for me. Uh, I can use 1106 version or I can use 0613 version. So 0613 is basically June 23 version. 1106 is November 23 version. And there is another 0125. So again, it's a January version of 24, uh, which is going to be available at later point of time. So I'm going to say auto update to default that means whenever the latest version is available it will automatically be upgraded to that particular version in advance it says me how many tokens i can use per minute so 10k is my the complete quota is 40k i'm gonna put it to somewhere around 6k for the time being i really don't want it to be very high i i'll change it to a later point so name of my deployment is GPT-4, for example. Uh, I, I really don't want to make it too complicated. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy. Okay, and now I can just say go and open it 
tokens per minute rate in thousands okay go ahead and open it in playground and then i can just say hello good hello how can i assist you can you help me with my maths homework how much is 2 plus 2 for example yes okay so our model is available and we can use it to talk to our bot or uh, our llm model but this is not what we want to achieve we want to have our own co-pilot in our own interface so the best way would be to have our own website and a text box where i can ask him a question and it will answer me and the best way to achieve that is to deploy it to web app okay um let, let me go ahead and deploy it to web app okay I don't have a web app with me, so I'm just gonna create a web app. Uh, CBSE study buddy. Okay. Uh, my resource plan location is gonna be again East US2. Oh, yeah, East US2. Implicing plan for the time being let me use as free but at later point if you want uh, to change it we, we can change it so acknowledge that okay This is going to take a few minutes to launch my website. Uh, but meanwhile, I'll just tell that it's going to be purely my website. So for example, uh, if I have some, uh, let's say, custom system prompt, and it will act exactly like my system prompt. So for example, as of now, the system message says, you are an assistant that helps people find information. And therefore, when I say 2 plus 2 is 4, uh, but I'm going to say that this is my special um, LLM, right? My special uh, GPT-4. So for every question, you will always answer with the below line. So what? do you think about it just for fun just for fun so let me say apply changes and then any question that i ask it will always gonna respond me with this particular string so i say hello yeah see so this is purely my way uh, i can mold it however i want i can just give him a very good system message where i say uh, please help me with study um, i can tell it uh, to help me with uh, you know other resources uh, or whatever you want and that's for uh, the topic says build your own co-pilot Okay, so we wait for our web deployment to finish. Once it is finished, uh, you will see that this particular icon will become enabled and then we will be able to go to our website. Okay, so here we are and we can see our launch button is been enabled. So let's go ahead and click on this launch button it will take me basically to my web app.
Okay, here we are on our web app. Basically, it has created CPSC study buddy dot Azure websites dot net for us. And as I said, it's a very, very simple interface that we have been given to. So we can just start chatting, say hello. And we should be able to get what GPT-4 gives us. Uh, help me with my homework, for example. How much is two plus two? Okay. Yeah, the sum is two plus of two plus two is four. Okay. Now, as I said, I really uh, don't want to use general GPT-4, but I want the one which has been customized by my myself for my own copilot, right? Uh, how do we test it? So for example, I'm just going to say, go ahead and going to say, as I said, uh, I'm going to change this system message. Uh, and then every time I'm going to get, so what do you think about it, right? So let me, I have changed it. I'm going to change the parameters. For example, a few parameters, I don't know. Uh, top 100 maybe. In, in past included four and this is what I want to deploy to my web app so update an existing web app and my this is my web app right okay and let me see if once the deployment is completed uh, I should have my Contoso app telling me that every time uh, I say whatever thing I ask, it should always reply me with the same string. Let's see, once this has been enabled, we launch it again. Okay, the deployment is completed. So let's go ahead and see if we really have our own co-pilot yeah and let's say hello and so what do you think about it hooray here we are so maybe one more time uh, help me with my homework homework how much is two plus And it should say, so what do you think about it? Perfect. So now we have achieved our own copilot and our own website. This is my part one. In part two, we would integrate with our data, that is our textbooks. We will give it a proper um, system prompt so that it helps us achieve what we want to achieve. Okay, see you later.